In this video, we're going to look at problems involving connected particles. So here we've got two particles that are connected. We've got P and Q. So we've got P and Q, always label them. P of mass 5 kilograms and Q of mass 2 kilograms are connected by a light inextensible string. So we could just read string here. It's light and inextensible. That means it's got no mass and it's not going to extend. So it's just connected by a string on a smooth plane. So smooth plane, no friction. A horizontal force X newtons is applied to P in the direction away from Q. So we've got a force of X newtons here pulling P away from Q. The particles move with an acceleration of 0 0.5 meters per second squared. Find the value of x first. So I'll just draw on the other forces first. So it's a smooth plane, so there's no other forces. There's going to be a tension force acting away from P. So it's going to be dragging it back because it's dragging Q along. And that same tension force is going to be pulling Q along. So we've got tension acting away from P and away from Q. So it's pulling P back and pulling Q forwards. So that's the force acting in the string. It's called tension. Find the value of X. So we've got a choice with these connected particles. We can look at the whole system in one go, or we can look at each one individually, so just P or just Q. So to find X, we're going to look at the whole system. It doesn't matter how you do it, but if we just looked at P, we're going to have a tension involved. And if we looked at just Q, well, there won't be an X force at all although we would be able to find T. Um, we'll look at the whole system together. So we're going to say F equals M A. We could also draw other forces. I'll draw the other forces on. They're not relevant to the question. We've got 5G and a normal reaction. And we've got 2G and a normal reaction. They're not relevant to the question, but we should probably just draw them on anyway. So we're looking at horizontal forces. So we've got F equals MA of the whole system. So the only force is X. We could have X plus T minus T. Um, but that would just be X anyway, because the two T's are going to cancel out. And X equals MA, which is the mass of the whole system, is 7 kilograms. And A is 0 0.5. So X is 3.5 Newtons. Okay, qu question two, the tension in the string. This time we can just look at Q. We could ignore P and just look at Q. Q is also moving with an acceleration of 0 0.5 meters per second squared. So for Q, F must equal MA, the only force acting on Q is tension. And that equals mass, which is 2, times acceleration, which is 0 0.5. So tension is 1 Newton. We could have done that by looking at just P and had 3.5 minus T equals 5A and we would have got the same answer. Okay, here's another connected particle problem. So we've got A and B. A is on the table. So A, this is A, this is B. So A is mass six kilograms, six kilograms. B is four kilograms. And they're connected by a light inextensible string. So a string that's not going to extend, 
and we don't have to worry about its weight. Over a smooth pulley, so the pulley is not going to create any friction or anything. Fix to the edge of a table. So A is on the table. It's a rough table. And mu is 0 0.6. B hangs freely and the system is released from rest. Okay, let's draw the forces on. So we have B's weight of 4G. We've got a tension force pulling B back. We've got a tension force pulling A forward. We can have friction acting opposing the motion. We've got the normal reaction of on A and we've got A's weight. So we need to find the acceleration of the particles. So let's look at it as one system. So we're going to, it's all joined together. So we're going to say F equals M A. We're going to need to work out friction first. So, well, we've got forces up equal forces down here. So R must be 6G. Friction equals mu times R. I'll write FR here because we've got F over here. Equals mu times R. So 0 0.6 times 6G, which I'll just write as 3.6G for now. So we're going to say friction is 0. No, 3.6G. And F equals MA for the whole system. So we've got in with the motion, we've got 4G. The T's are going to cancel out. And opposing motion is friction, which is 3.6G. And that's going to equal MA. Mass is 10 for the whole system. So we've got 0.4G equals 10A. So A equals 0.04G. 0 0.39 to two significant figures. 0 0.39, or actually 0 0.392. And we're going to reuse that answer. So find the tension in the string. So we're just going to look at one particle now. So question two, if we just look at B, we're going to do F equals MA, 4G minus T equals mass times A, 4 times 0 0.392. If we plus T to both sides, 4G equals T plus 4 times 0 0.392 minus this from both sides. So T is 4G minus 4 times 0 0.392. Type it into the calculator. And we get out tension to two significant figures of 38 newtons. I'm going to keep that whole number though. So 37.632 I've got for part three. So find the force exerted on the pulley by the string. So if we just look at the pulley, we can say there's a force acting vertically down and a force acting horizontally and both those forces are going to be T. I'm going to split the T forces up into their components. So I'm going to have The two green forces are going to make up 
two green forces are going to make up one red force. And we've got a 45 degree angle here and a 45 degree angle here. So we're interested in, if I use another colour again, this purple force here. These two green forces are going to cancel out. So what size is the purple force? So for each key, so I've got for each key, I've got T cos 45. So I've got two of them, one for each T force. So I've got 2T cos 45. And I've still got the T in the calculator. So I'm going to write 2 answer cos 45. And that is 53. Newtons to 2 SF. So the force exerted on the pulley by the string is 53 Newtons to 2 significant figures. Okay, here we've got another question. Pause the video, give this one a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. Okay, so we've got two particles, A and B. We've got A on a rough plane, and we've got B hanging freely. So we've got A here and B here. A's got mass of three kilograms. B's got mass of four kilograms. And so it's a light and extensible string over a smooth pulley. It's a rough plane, so that means we've got friction. So friction max equals mu r. And the system is released from rest and accelerates. So it's accelerating at 2 meters per second. Per second. So let's draw the forces on. So for B, we have its weight of 4g. And tension opposing the motion for a we've got tension pulling it along we've got friction opposing the motion we've got the weight acting vertically down of 3g and we've got the normal reaction we're going to tilt the axes by 20 degrees so we've got a 20 degree angle in there. And they are our forces. So question one, find the tension in the string. So if we just look at B, and we say F equals MA, we're going to have 4G so F is the resultant force, so 4G minus T equals MA, which is 4 is the mass, A is 2, so 4 times 2. If we plus T to both sides and then subtract this 8 back, we'll have 4G minus 8 equals T. And so T is 4G minus 8 Newtons. We'll leave it in terms of G, that's absolutely fine. Question two, find the coefficient of friction. So the coefficient of friction, that's mu. So to find mu, we need to know friction and R. So we're gonna be looking at A. So we're gonna be looking at A. We can find R by looking at the forces perpendicular to the plane. So if we look at the forces perpendicular to the plane, forces up must equal forces down because it's not going to be going through the ground or up in the air. So we've got R equals the component of the 3G force, which is 3G cos 20. Now we'll look at parallel to the plane, and we'll do F equals MA to find friction.
What are forces with the motion? Just tension, which we know. Opposing the motion, we've got friction. I'll put FR, just so we don't confuse it with fric with the force, resultant force. And we've got the other component of 3G, which is 3G sine 20 this time. That is MA, so it's 3 is the mass of A, and 2 is the acceleration. So friction, if we plus friction to both sides, we'll have T minus 3G sine 20 equals 6 plus friction, and we'll subtract 6 from both sides. So friction is T minus 3G sine 20 minus 6. Tension we've worked out. Tension is 4G minus 8. So friction is 4G minus 8 minus 3G sine 20 minus 6. And we'll type that into the calculator. G is, of course, 9.8. And I've got a friction of 15 newtons. That's two significant figures. I'm going to keep the whole number in the calculator, though. So I've got 15.14460779. And now I've got friction. I've got R somewhere. So there's friction, which is actually my answer in the calculator. I've got R. There you go, 3G cos 20. So friction is mu times R. So mu is going to be friction over R. So that's my answer over 3G cos 20. So answer over 3G cos 20. And that gives me my mu. So my coefficient of friction is 0 0.55 to two significant figures. Okay, part C, find the force exerted on the pulley by the string. So let's get this angle here, right? So I've got 20 degrees here. So that means I've got a 70 degree angle here because angles in the triangle are 180. On the pulley, so we've got a pulley here. We've got a tension force acting vertically down, and we've got a tension force acting down the plane. So if we split that in half, we have 70 degrees for the whole angle, so that angle there is 35 degrees. And we're interested in this force here. So it's the same on both sides. So we've got T cos 35. We've got two of them. So we've got two T cos 35. And T is somewhere 4G minus 8. So we've got two 4G minus 8 cos 35 as our force. So we just type it into the calculator. 2 times 4, 9.8 minus 8 cos 35. And that's 51 newtons to two significant figures.